In today's video, I'm going to be covering the five most Googled questions of real estate and answer each one of the questions as best as possible. So let's get started. Number one, is the housing market going to crash? The answer is no, not for the foreseeable future. There are a lot of challenges that we're facing in our economy, such as high interest rates and increased inflation. But main factors that are driving home prices today are strong and likely to continue. For example, unemployment and wages are still at very high levels. In fact, unemployment and wages are at above pre-pandemic levels. So people are earning more money and have more job stability, which will result in people being able to continue to make their home payments and stay in their homes. Another reason why housing inventory is low and will remain low because we simply haven't built enough homes since our last market correction in 2008. And housing is still at pre-pandemic levels. Home equity is another reason to consider. Currently, there is more home equity, meaning that people owe much less than their home is worth. So even if there is somewhat of a downturn in the market, there's plenty of cushion between what is owed and what it's worth. So that continues to keep the market stable. Question number two, when will the housing market crash? No one really knows. And I don't see the housing market crashing anytime soon in South Florida. But here are some signs to look for that might indicate that the real estate market is getting unstable and housing may be affected. Unemployment. If unemployment rapidly and consistently increases, this could lead to rent and mortgage default, which can result in an increase in supply of homes. Keep an eye on inventory. How many homes are currently on the market and how many homes are selling? If the pace of listings is faster than the pace of sales, this will lead to a lot of homes being on the market. And if there's a lot of homes in the market and they're outpacing the demand for the homes, that generally will result in prices of homes declining. Again, neither of these things are being seen at this moment because currently we're seeing inventory very low, we're seeing equity high, and we're seeing demand for housing high. Another thing to keep an eye out for is mortgage defaults. How are the pace of defaults in mortgages going? Currently, mortgage defaults are stable, have slightly increased, but certainly nowhere near what we saw pre-pandemic. Question number three, why is the housing market so high right now? Well, there's a lot of factors at play here. And in South Florida, we are seeing the perfect storm for house price increases. Let me cover some of them for you here. Millennials. Millennials are right now becoming into the ripe age of home ownership age, and many of them are starting house formations. And as they start to buy, they are a large cohort of people making a lot of the demand for housing, buying up a lot of that supply. And the other part of why housing prices are so high is that supply is low and supply and construction has been down since 2008, from the last time the market crashed, the speed of building has been so slow, resulting in a low amount of inventory and creating a disbalance between supply and demand. And lastly, in South Florida, most of Florida has seen an incredible amount of people moving into South Florida from cities such as Chicago, San Francisco, and New York, all of which have higher price points and higher income earners all of which are coming here and buying a property, many of them paying cash for the properties, driving up the property values. Question number four, is the housing market slowing down? And the answer is yes, it has already slowed down. Price growth has decreased since 2020 when it was at its all time high. But don't confuse price growth, the pace of price growth with value increase. So the speed at which property values is going up has slowed down, but property values are still going up in the South Florida market. In 2023, in the first quarter, we've seen an increase anywhere from two to 8% in a quarter in some markets. So 
be mindful that although inventory is low and buyer demand remains high, price growth is not as strong, but still strong in South Florida. And don't confuse national news with local data because what's happening at a national level is very different than what's happening at a local level because of a lot of different factors. Question number five, when will we see the housing market get better? And that depends on what side of the coin you're on. If your question is asking, when will we see home pricing get more stable and more affordable for more people? Unknown. But there is some hope for the future because recently the state passed a new law called Senate Bill 102. And part of that will involve an unprecedented amount of money for infrastructure to build affordable housing and changes to local zoning laws, which makes it easier to build more affordable housing. So we should expect to see an increase in supply of affordable housing, helping to stabilize prices and allow people, working class people, to purchase real estate in South Florida. In summary, with all of these questions, I think most people are just trying to get to the bottom line. Is now a good time to sell or buy real estate? And the answer for each individual is it depends and it depends on many factors. But I think a lot of people make the mistake of waiting and trying to time the market. And timing the market is an impossible thing. It's an impossible thing for myself as a real estate investor and real estate broker for over 23 years. There's no way I can predict the future in real estate. If I could, I'd be well retired. The truth of the matter is it depends and it depends on each individual's personal circumstances. I don't recommend trying to time the market for the right time, buy low and sell high. That strategy is a strategy that most real estate investors don't do. Most real estate investors take the approach of buy now and wait. Timing of the real estate market is the way to do it. Long-term real estate appreciation is the goal of most real estate investors. What you should look at is can you afford the monthly payment and can you afford that monthly payment for a long time? If you can wait out a down cycle, the market will come right back. Think about it this way. Had you made a purchase in 2007, the high, high point of the most high real estate market, right before the worst, worst crash we've seen in real estate for decades, today you'd be in a very positive situation. It's just a matter of waiting. Timing the market is not the wait strategy. So here's a simple way of thinking about it. Don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. If you have more questions, feel free to follow us on this channel. Ask questions below in the comment section or reach out to us on our contact form on our website at www.stratwellrealestate.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.